Hi, this is Inelia Benz for Ascension101.com. It's Wednesday morning and um, today is throughout our 8.30 a.m. meditation. Uh, after the meditation, I got an information download of something that it would be very useful for all of us to deal with. We're going through, at the moment, this July 2012 when I'm recording this. But this is useful for any time, whenever you see this video, it's probably the time that you can really do with this information. Um, it's, it's a time that we're going through on a planetary level that um, it's a very physical um, transformation that we're going through. Uh, most of the times that they have been the past two years have been very energetic shifts and changes. But um, in this year, it's very physical. It's very to do with the 3D world, our physical bodies, our emotional bodies, and subtle bodies, which are all tied up together with our physical body. And it's basically time to clean house. Uh, energetically speaking, as a society, as a collective, and as us as individuals. And I was given the request to talk about and to share this exercise. We're going to use several little tools. Um, they're not unique to, m to myself, but they're tools that are out there. A couple of them are ones that I've developed, um, and also other tools that I've found extremely useful. So we're going to do... Um, and uh, the, the beginning of the exercise is something that uh, basically means that we're going to clean up the negative energies that are stuck to us, both at our physical level at a, uh, and all our uh, subtle bodies, but also environmentally, our house, our country, our world, and also socially, so like um, the human collective type thing. And the first thing that we're going to do then is we're going to um, make a list or we're going to start uh, doing, putting together objects that mean or have charge for us. So um, there are several things that we talk about. So for example, on the, on the, uh, the talks that you can find on my website uh, that enslave human beings. One of them is the energy of fear and another thing that's important also is debt and um, or any negative emotions or um, attachments or relationships that you may have, anything that's negative affecting you. It's not about becoming victims. It's not about us being the victim of somebody or something uh, because that we don't, we're not basically. Anything that we are into at some point in our lives or oh, before we came into this life, we agreed to. So basically, we're looking at it. First of all, we have to identify the things that we have signed up for. And um, those are contracts, and we're going to process those contracts and get rid of them. And then um, we're going to look at the actual energies inside of us. So it's not about, oh, that person is beating me up or whatever. No, it's the, how do you feel about that? The energy inside of your field, your energy body, your emotional body. How does that feel in your emotional body? And then you look at it. Well, I feel sad. I feel rejected. I feel um, exposed. I feel vulnerable. I feel um, hated. So where is that feeling at in your physical body? And then you look for it and you find it. And then that's part of the exercises that we're going to do. But first of all, we're going to, if you can pause at any time to get, gather the things that you need, um, I would suggest right away to get yourself a box and some sheets of paper where you can draw on and a pencil. Um, so base, um, uh, that's my dog barking over there, by the way, I'm in my yard. Um, so what we're going to do first, like I have a box already just any old cardboard box. It doesn't matter if stuff written on it or not. And um, some paper to write on. And a pencil or a pen or something that you can write with. Or even colored pencils and things. If you're, very, if you're creative. Here's the box. And I'm going to put that right there. I don't think you can see. Maybe if I move this further away, you'll be able to see the box a little bit there. Okay. There. You can see it now. Okay, so 
first of all, what's your attention on right now? What, what do you have that's upsetting you right now? So it could be, for example, a physical condition. So I have a physical condition. I have an, like an injury on my back that sometimes plays up and gives me a lot of pain. It disables me, my ability, my attention. It takes all of my attention. Uh, sometimes I get headaches. And um, so I would put something that represents that into the box. And um, so, for example, if I have any medicines, I don't have the medicines with me now, but uh, if I were, you know, if you can go out, if you have a medical condition, get yourself the medicine and put it into the box. Um, if you have a letter from your doctor that said, you know, you have blah, you know, you have this condition, that condition or whatever, get the piece of paper, the written piece of paper and put that in the box. If you don't have those, what you can do is you, you can draw it. So for me, it would be like um, drawing a person and, a, you know, like a stick per person will do. And then I could put here that it has the pain, right? So like that. So that, that will do and it will represent me so you'll have long hair, right? A person with long hair. So that would be, and I would write down um, back, oh, and the headache as well. So I would put like little arrows going into my head, like here, like that, right? So it would be back and head pain. Okay, so then I would take this piece of paper, right? And I would put it into my box like that. Now, um, for example, if you live, uh, so so that would be very personal, something very personal with, to do with your physical body. Going out a little more, um, it could be, for example, another physical condition. Although we don't normally think of it as physical, but it's the physical and the subtle bodies and emotional bodies are all part of the same package. So, for example, it could be depression. You know, like you have a medical condition, like it's depression or another type of medical condition, you take the medicines or the, the sadness or, or represent it on a piece of paper and you put that in the box. Now, going out a little bit, um, you may be in a relationship and you may have problems in your relationship that is not all perfect at the moment or whatever. So if you have a problem, you can make a photo, you can make a picture. If you're in a marriage that you're not happy with, get your marriage certificate, put it in the box, or get, um, you know, um, a picture of your wedding, right? And put that in the box. I'm going to put mine because obviously there's always something, right? Um, not Nothing serious, so don't worry about it. But, you know, there's always something that you want to communicate better or you, you want to... Um, establish a, a higher vibrational relationship with your partner um, or, or maybe you want to, to go down the road of separation but anyway whichever way you do it it has you want it to be at a very high positive vibration whatever it is so a relationship it could be a relationship with a child uh, or a parent or a sibling friends work relationships uh, maybe for example also with regards to work uh, maybe you haven't got a job or you're looking for a job or your work is not very good. Um, so if you're looking for work, you know, pull out the paper or print out uh, job positions um, that, you know, that whatever it gives you that energy of, oh my goodness, you know, I'm not going to get a job today and there's nothing here for me or I'm not going to get these or whatever. Or I need a job now and I can't get one. Or I need a job now and I need to get one. The need, right? That energy of need. So you get that and you put it into your box. You could be in a very polluted environment. Um, so, yeah. So, for example, uh, trash and stuff around you. Um, so grab a bit of trash and put it there. And one of the really important ones that I want to deal with today, because it's really important with regards to the collective as well, is debt. Now, um, I always talk about how debt is very enslaving. It's a very enslaving type of energy because it pulls you uh, into a situation where you owe somebody or something something else. Uh, energy exchange is very important. So it's really 
important that you avoid debt as much as you can. Now, obviously, we all uh, in Western society, especially, if you don't get a mortgage or you don't get a car loan, you probably won't have anywhere to live or you won't have a way to get to work, right? Or to even go to the stores because the United States is sort of built around the car. So um, I have, I'm not, my name is not actually on the mortgage in my house, but it, it is my house, it's in my husband's name, but it is my house, it's where I live. So to represent it, because I haven't actually signed this, or I don't have a contract to put in the box, I'm going to draw a house, right? So I'm going to, see, the sun's moving in, so you might not be able to see it very well. But, so I'm going to draw a house. So this is my house, where I live. Again, you don't have to be an artist to do this exercise. And it's got lots of trees, things that I like. And um, and because it's the mortgage, let's see if you can make it, see it better. Because it's the mortgage, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a big S dollar sign on top of it. So that represents the mortgage. And at the bottom, so... We're going to put that into my box because it is a debt that is in my life, right? There. So that goes in my box. And then I have I actually do have a car loan. And these are the worst. Uh, well, no, it's not actually the worst, but um, the uh, if you can if you need to get a loan, try and get it from your credit union. Uh, try and get a low interest and stuff like that, it's obvious. Uh, but if you can't, you might be stuck with something like this, right? Um, huge, huge paper full of little, tiny little writing that basically says that you, you, you're owned by somebody else or your car is owned by someone else. And one of the things about loans or, or debt, financial debt, it's really important to remember this. Avoid the debt of things that are not, are not tangible, that you don't have collateral to back it up. So even though I have a loan here, I have a car that is worth what this loan's about. So if I have to tomorrow sell the car, I can actually pay off all my loan. So I'm not really stuck in that debt. It's just like, it's really the car doesn't belong to me. That's all it means. And at the same time, I'm paying all this interest to other people for the privilege of using their car, which is not a good thing, right? So um, my little loan contract is going to my box. Now, with regards to uh, loans, for example, um, try to avoid, if at all possible, loans of things that you cannot um, get out of if by selling whatever. For example, houses that are upside down. Um, and also, don't get loans, say, for going on holidays. Uh, or to buy clothes that you will never be able to, um, you know, like sell for the same price and then get your money back. Um, or all those things that are not tangible things, so the ones that don't have collateral behind them, don't get those. Those are pure enslaving energy, don't get those. Now other things, uh, for example, one of the things I have a lot of, I have a lot of attention on are, uh, for me personally, um, in my environment, although I haven't seen any for, for a few days, are chemtrails. So I would put, like, society-wise, you know, I would put chemtrails here. So I would put, I'm going to draw some mountains, right? And then I'm going to uh, put the sun. The sun is our friend, mother sun, very powerful energy right now. And then I would put all these chemtrails trying to stop her from reaching us. Right, with uh, little planes at the end. I don't know how to draw planes, but I'll try like that. I think actually it's the other way around, shouldn't it? It's good. Okay, that plane's going the other way around, <laughs> but you get the idea. So, chemtrails, this are a big one for me. I have a lot of attention on chemtrails that go into my box. You might be in um, a war situation. You might be in a conflict situation. So if there's a conflict in a land if, where you are at the moment, if you are there right then or you have something from there, grab that something. I have some, uh, uh, there's some conflict in a land that I have. There's some kind of energy of conflict there in South America, right? 
So what I'm going to I have a, a rock here that I brought from the location and that's going in my box. So that's going to represent the conflict that's in that land. And if you're in a war zone, of course, get a bit of rubble or a bullet or something. Well, obviously a spent shell, not a live bullet. Put it in your box. Basically what you want to do is grab things that represent items in your own energy field, in your own emotional or mental body, uh, physical body, that have charge. They have charge. So th that's when you put them right there. Now this is a really loaded box, right? So um, after you're done, what we'll do move that up out a little bit more. So here's my box of um, charged items. Some of these have a lot of charge, some of them don't. And w one of the exercises that um, I'm going to show you is like, okay, this is your package, right? This is the stuff that's weighing you down. And what we're going to do is energetically is very, very heavy. We're just going to sit and look at it. We're just going to sit and look at it. And this will bring up all sorts of things, but the aim is to just look. Anything that comes up, we say thank you, and then goodbye. So we look at it, we hold it. This energy is welcome here. Now, you know, you may get emotional, you know, you may feel tearful. And then when, if there's, there's any mental thoughts or something, fear of accepting this into your life, anything like that, you look for it in your mind, in your body, in your energy field. And you look at it and you say, fear, you're welcome here. Or sadness, you're welcome here. Frustration, you're welcome here. Any information and thoughts, you welcome them too. Sometimes just looking at it and welcoming all the emotions can be a little bit difficult. If it becomes overwhelming, there's another exercise, another little uh, tool that I find extremely useful for those type of situations when it becomes uh, like an overwhelm, which is basically you, you look at or focus on the situation or the box or the picture. Or, you know, if one of these is popping out at you, if one of these is popping out and saying, look at me right now, I need to be looked at right now, do so. So for me, it would be this one, I suppose. For me, it would be the financial uh, enslavement uh, energy of the planet right now, which for me is represented by my personal car loan. So I would look at it, and I would place that separate for now. I'll just deal with one thing at a time. So that would be one of the things that uh, we can do. Do it as long as you need to. Or as long as you have and then you can come back to it later on today tomorrow or for a few days until the situation is uh, resolved and I'm going to look at it again so I will see for as long as it takes without judgment and always address the energy that's coming up within you always address that energy rather than the thing itself right so th that that's you know, my attention is no longer on this, so I will put that back. Yeah, so basically, um, once one of those items are no longer um, calling out to you to be looked at individually, what you do is just you bring back the whole baggage and you start processing it again at that. Look at your box. So you would sit and look at the box and any energies of judgment or frustration, anger, fear, you welcome them and you allow them to exist. Those energies inside my body are welcomed here. My emotional body, the thoughts, they're welcome here. The frustrations are welcome here. And then I allow myself to become a conduit of source energy, light love source energy to come through and infuse those energies within my physical, emotional, mental bodies and psycho bodies with light and love, divine energy. And embrace those angers and fears and frustrations, just embrace them in that light.
so that's the exercise for today and I will probably be talking about this for the next few weeks so uh, I hope to see you soon for more information about tools there's the fear processing exercise that's in my website the full text is right there under the tools section you click on tools go down to tools and there it is or you just click on tools actually yeah click on tools scroll down you'll find it very useful uh, the financial, if you do the uh, reconnecting with money exercise, you not only heal your own relationship with money, but you'll heal the planet's and our collective's um, wealth and financial constructs. So those constructs that they're trying to put on top of us <laughs> will no longer work. Um, if you have relationship problems or any energies of relationships, there's going to be more coming. And if you think that this will benefit somebody else, do forward it to them. I hope you have found it useful. Until next time.